about my grind, stay about my hustle, stay about my riches all of the time. Keeping my mind on my money and my eyes on the switches for niggas and bitches. Cause in this game, I can only depend on me. Welcome back, best Yoni crew. It's sugar. So I'm coming on to do some sublimation pillows that I have gotten for my birthday last year from a friend of mine, which is Miss Passionately in Trees Art, her brother Jamie, which is a sweetheart. But um, he bought me these pillows here, and I think he got them off Amazon. They are like a satin material, look like satin. Um, I didn't have no instructions and nothing on them, but it was supposed to be, you know, you can sublimate on nylon, silk, satin. And stuff like that. I know that. So it, it feels like a satin or silk type situation. So I am going to be sublimating on these today. Got some images of my choice. I am using a sub paper because I didn't feel like rambling. Looking for my, my good paper. My, my good paper is Blanks by Tiffle collection. But a sub is a very great paper as well. So I have gotten this off Amazon. Y'all can order. If you like, I'll still leave links down below. With the Amazon link and the blanks by Tiffany link if you want to order some information back in. So I tried to make my picture as big as possible, so I got it in pieces. I used the uh, paint to design my picture in. So I got four pieces. I'm hoping it's big enough, y'all. I know I'm bad with measurements. This is what I put in paint. So just put those numbers in paint, and that's how you get the measurements. I bought everything. And I know that's not good. I'm trying to learn. Work with your girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these up, tape them together, and place them on the pillowcase. And we're gonna press that thing. So I'm gonna cut these up and I'm going to tape them together. You can also use a painter's tape to tape them together. Tape uh painter's tape is also heat resistant. And we're just gonna start. So I could have put these in the Cricut, but I didn't design them in Cricut, so Cricut would have, you know, messed the cut up for me. So, I'm going to have to cut these myself, and I'm just cutting along the line of the picture, because I'm going to have to line them up like a puzzle piece. So, I need to cut very even. I'm shaking. <laughs> and I'm praying this picture be big enough that if it ain't, we still gonna run with that thing because we're gonna work too hard trying to get the perfect measurements. So if this pillow comes out um, fine and you would like the picture, you can have it. All you need to do is pay for shipping. The shipping shouldn't be no more than like five or six dollars. Probably like six. We sit here while we cut. We got craftable things on the TV. I can't hear it right now. So if you're watching this video, Patrice, I'm still watching you right now. You're printing on your DTF. But I'm working as well. But I got you on the TV. So I'm here. I'm just not in the chat. And then I can't hear you because you know on mute on the TV. Ooh, oh, my little hands hurting. pieces we have to line them up right they go okay so oh and when you cut you got to make sure you cut just right because if you don't you're gonna know the difference you'll get some lines and your artwork so we're gonna start with this one first and we're just gonna put some tape on the back Okay. 
tape on the back and then you gotta try to line it up as good as possible i see miss coffee powerhouse uh doing a shirt today and i'm like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and sublimate my pillows that i got for my birthday trying to make sure i lined up the hair and stuff just right it depends on it i'm telling you because if you don't you know you'll see the flaw bad we're just gonna see how that turn out so now we just have to tape the other piece going across like this and sit that to the side make sure the tape is not bunched up because that depends on a lot too the tape need to be flat behind your picture Make them fix that in a sec. That's a true saying when they say you never miss a good thing till it's gone. Now that my DTF, I can't print it. I want it. And then at first I wasn't even caring about it for real. Now I want it. So then you just have to piece everything together over here. Make sure everything's lining up fine over here. Like I said, to go back to when I say your tape need to be make make sure your tape is flat, Lord. So you need to make sure, and then turn it back. Okay, so we just gotta line it up just right. I had to pull too hard because you can't rip it. Okay. See, girl, I got to stand up for that because I can't see. I should put some paper or something through here. This A sub do bleed. Okay. So if you buy Blank Spot Tiffa collection sublimation paper, her paper do not bleed, y'all. Her paper is bomb.com. Like for real, for real. So put a couple sheets of paper in here. Just to try to kick some of the bleed. Okay, don't mess nothing up. I'm going to go ahead and press the pillowcase to get the wrinkles out. I'm going to go ahead and press the wrinkles out of it. And they say use your lint roller. I didn't even use mine. Let me make sure I do that. You want to use your lint roller. Because you don't know what's on here for real until you get your image on here. And then all the stuff be like sitting right there and you ain't even know it. I'm just going to put my pillow case down over the image and making sure it's covering the image. 
And then I'm going to do tape. I'm going to do this Cricut brand tape. You can buy this from Hobby Lobby Michaels or Cricut.com. I got a Cricut link down below. If you buy from the Cricut.com low, any of my links below, I get a percentage, y'all. Please click the links and buy from my links. Help your girl. Okay. So I'm just going to tape it down to the paper. Just to try to give it like a hole. I feel like I gotta do a lot, but we're just gonna take it over there like this. And we're just going to lay it down. Uh -oh. Let me show things covered. And we probably had to press a few times because, you know, I have to. Make sure everything is pressed. So we're just gonna press the whole thing right here and then we'll just probably work our way around the center. My heat press is up to 398. So I wanna make sure everything gets some press time. So I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. And hopefully, don't mess up nothing. I'm praying. Paper did look like it bunched up just a tad right there. So that probably messed up something. I hope not, Lord. Okay, so I got a little press there. And I'm going to just move it up some. I'm going to press this in here. to go around a couple times just to make sure so I want everything to get some not really counting either like I should but just kind of thinking as I go now right here it looked like it bunched up in that crease with that zipper at so that might look a tad different when we lift it I don't know yet we'll find out though so I'm gonna bring it down so Press that part. And then you can tell where it's creased. Then get a press. So we're gonna find out in a few. Just trying to make sure everything get pressed. Get some color. Oh, didn't do so bad. It's just right here. So we're going to try to see can we get that to press. Hopefully we can. And I think it's because of that zipper. And I didn't do 400 degrees for real. I meant that for uh, 60 seconds. Because I've seen lifting everything up, so me doing it like this might make it worse, but I don't know. Let's see. Nope, it didn't do nothing. It didn't even give it the color. So. Let's just see. Ooh. I'm on this side. Okay, well, that's good enough. Let's go to the table. So look at that, y'all. It is gorgeous. Only flaw is the 
crease up here. Which I probably could have went back with a black or something and made it work. But for the most part, it looks good. What y'all think? It's not bad for me. I tried. So this is my all over pillowcase. Let's see, did it go through the back? It didn't. I tried to. That's the only thing I don't like about A sub is the paper do bleed. I hate that. Like, it bleeds bad. So, yes. Y'all make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe on your girl's channel. Let her know how she did. Y'all have a blessed one.